Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. All right, everybody, every Monday I have Climate Matters Monday, kind of highlight a specific aspect of our climate, and we could look at national things, sometimes globally or even in Boise, just taking a look at some of the numbers. And I want to show you here a little bit of national and Boise as well. Uh, these are the hottest years for U.S. cities, okay? So percentage-wise, 50% right here. See the bar graph? 20% uh, in the 1930s, 20% uh, of the cities having that. But look at this. In the 2010s, this last decade here, nearly half of these locations having uh, their hottest year. So as you can see, there's a trend for hotter weather here lately. For Boise, the hottest year though was 1934. So it was certainly a hot decade here. So that's our climate matters for this Monday. Talking about heat here, but boy, we've got no heat around us. The cold weather has finally moved back into the region. And we look at this extended forecast and that's right for the Treasure Valley. I'm expecting a chance of some snow coming in. How about this for the day tomorrow? 40% or 60% chance of snow. This is primarily going to be after the morning rush. That's the key. Take a look at the hourly breakdown here. Cold enough for snow to stick to the roadways in the morning, but you don't see the snow until here till around noon, probably between 10 and noon that snow would be coming in, but it would be after the morning rush. That's the likely time for it. Now, if it sneaks in a little early, we could have some issues with the morning commute, but I think it's going to be holding off for Boise, but maybe not points to the east that I mentioned, but the temperatures are still going to peak around 36 and so snow would tend to melt, but grassy surface could get a coating of snow coming in from this and then lo and behold we go to Wednesday 43 degrees for the high temperature but in the morning we're at 27 and another little batch of moisture comes in and how about this we've got a chance for some snow on Wednesday morning it is certainly not going to stick around as temperatures warm right back up into the 40s on Wednesday and so we'll have melting going on and by Thursday we're up to 48 degrees so some mild weather coming in but because it's January it's cold in the mornings and you get a chance for snow speaking of cold we've got plenty of cold air in place in Stanley it's one degree 23 in Ontario 25 in Boise right now it's nine in McCall. So snow will fly in the mountains with this first little wave of moisture, maybe an inch or two in the western sections, three inches of, so of snow possible in the Sun Valley area. But you see that breakdown of our snow for Tuesday's weather. It is mostly later in the day. That's going to be the key. So you take a look at how much snow will fall in the mountains through Thursday now. So this is two waves of snow coming on in. Here's the valley. You see a little bit of light blue. It's maybe a quarter inch for the Boise area. Snow falls and then it melts. It'll be tough to measure it because a lot of it will be Thing as it comes down, but we could whiten the Treasure Valley tomorrow after the sun comes up. But east of that towards Mountain Home, even though it doesn't show it here, we could have an issue with some snow in the mountains. Western Mountains, two inches of snow, but look at this. Haley shows a nine here as we go through Thursday. Now that's from another storm system moving in, but a few inches of snow are possible in the Sun Valley area as we go through tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon. Moisture's coming straight in from the south. How about that? We've got cold air in place. There's our storm system and El Nino's uh, weather pattern set up. So storms from the south, but this one is swinging on up that moisture. You see the snow right here in central northern Nevada. That's why we've got that threat for snow. Look at all the winter weather advisories down to the south. Here's the storm system. It will swing inland and pinwheel that moisture up over the cold air in place. This next storm system off to the west here, this one's going to blast up to the northeast. A lot of wind with this storm and it's going to whip a cold front through. It will bring lots of heavy weather into Idaho and the computer charts are showing a chance for a thunderstorm on Thursday because of the warmth shooting out ahead of it. Here's tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. You don't see the snow, but by midday you see the snow around the region. Not a lot of snow. Most of the snow will be towards Sun Valley and then it will tend to break up as the day goes on, so it won't be that significant. But Wednesday morning we still have a threat for some more snow as well. These aren't big deals, but it's those morning ones you have to watch. So we're going to watch Wednesday morning. Tomorrow, I do have periods of snow in the forecast, light snow, and primarily after the morning rush. And with temperatures getting into the upper 30s, what falls will melt. So if you want to see it, you'll have to get up, and then when it comes down, check it out first because it will then disappear. An inch of snow in the west central mountains with 28 degrees in McCall, one to four inches possible with the most snow in the Sun Valley area. Staley may get an inch of snow out of this in the Magic Valley tomorrow. You've got a chance for one to two inches of snow. And out here in the Magic Valley, you may have an issue with your morning commute. So just keep that in mind. Tune into Good Morning Idaho. We will be keeping up with Rachel Garceau will be on top of that 48 on Thursday, Don. We're talking snow and yet we're talking thunderstorms. What a crazy winter. Busy week. Busy week. A, a lot of snow in the mountains coming in. All right. Thanks, Scott. The president